pitch, as always in Sharjah, is an excellent one for batting. And there's no doubt that any team that bats first, they'll be looking for a score of around 250 plus. The toss was won by India and they put Sri Lanka into bat. The teams for today's game, one change in the Indian team, Hemang Badani gets an opportunity here today and that's at the expense of Venkatesh Prasad. Prasad not playing this game because of a stiff neck and uh, the, the team think tank thought it's better off resting him for the final. The Sri Lankan team also one change there, Veera Ratna not playing and in his place Upashanta getting a game. Let's join the action. It's the first over of the innings, a fired up Zahir Khan on his way to Sanat Jayasuriya. Khan himself not really showing any amount of interest. A few appeals from behind the stumps though. Very good delivery. I think this is pitched on the seam and come back. It's the height that's caused the problem. It's just bounced a bit too much. Let's see. Beautifully delivered. Comes back off the seam and very high. Going the other direction this time. Good movement here for Zaire Khan. We haven't seen this amount of movement since the tournament started. And again, just shows he might be a young man, but he's thinking. Perhaps just a fraction wide, but he's sent him back with the three deliveries. He's really got him on the back foot. First run off the bat. Got there quite comfortably in the end. Two overs gone, four without last Sri Lanka. He'll have to be quick. I'm not too sure he was quick enough. I think he was fortunate more than quick. That's what pressure does for you, Sanath Jayasuriya. He wants to get away from the strike. He wants to turn over the strike. He's timed this one too well. I think he would have been gone. If that had hit, I'm sure he would have been gone. Set off straight away, but he's hit it quite hard to mid off. Way out. Very lucky. Good shot by Kalu. Well timed. Good chase on. Will he get there? He does. Well fielded. Three runs though. That's gone a long way. I think it will go all the way. It does. He knows they're bowling straight at him, son of Jai Surya. He's got it worked out now. And also, a Gurkha is just swinging it into the left-hander, trying to tuck him up. And when he gets it on the half volley length, Jai Surya is quite happy to pick it up. Slower delivery, and he's just picked it up with a minimum of fuss. Third man will be brought into play here. Jaisiria. A little bit of width, I was wondering when they were going to bowl a wide one to him. Bowled straight, bowled straight, and then suddenly you slip in the wide one, inviting the drive. And that's exactly what's happened here. Ajita Gurkha, a really wide one. He didn't quite hit it off the middle, son of Jaisiria. He likes to hit it over point for six. This time it's just spooned down to backward third man. And Zaire Khan standing there has taken a nice neat catch. So they lose their first. Jai Surya out for 11, 22 for one. Vanata Patu, the new batsman for Sri Lanka. He's not on strike. Batsman crossed while the ball was in the air. Dropped. Sachin Tendulkar at first slip. And that was always on the cards too. He's getting it to swing more than we've seen in the whole tournament, Ajita Gurkha. And that was a perfect delivery. Just getting it to go away to the right-hander. Kalu spotted it. 
lovely edge and the slip catches go that's how you'd like them i think it's gone quicker than sachin tenduka anticipated he's got there late he's had to go to his left which always indicates that you sometimes wait for the keeper to go got two hands to it but couldn't hold it again well bowled he, the finger goes off this time This is an inspired spell from Ajit Agarwal. Sri Lanka have lost both their openers. Excellent delivery from him. He's been getting the ball to go away from the right hand. With the deliveries before, but this time got it to jack back on uh, Kalwitana. Kalwitana not a very long stride forward, and um, Ampa Dan didn't have too much hesitation. See coming back on him. May have done a little bit too much. So Kalugatana departs, 25 for two. That's a fine shot from Akapadu. Excellent placement. That's a fine shot by Akapadu. In fact, breaks the shackles. Gangul's got this tendency to all pitch particularly early in his spell and other part to uh, making full use of it. Beautifully timed and behind the bowler's back, he always runs. Sachin Kandulka is not on the field at the moment, but there's no real problem with him. Now that's a fine shot too. But is isn't good enough. Boundary signal. Control shot here from Jay Vardana. Again going for the pull here. And that could be a dangerous shot when the ball doesn't bounce. 46 for two. 46 for two, the score, 13 overs have been bowled, this has been a good start for the Indians and uh, well, a few close calls for Sri Lanka and this uh, last ball, last over, just have a look at this, the ball bounces down into the air and then actually does hit the stumps but the bails, oh and then he goes back with his foot as well and very nearly kicked it back onto the stumps. That's well played. was good but once again not good enough he did all the hard work and then only dragged the ball back past the boundary line very unfortunate got to the ball and it looked as if he had done enough to save the boundary and that allows him to play that shot excellent placing again a lovely shot can't get more delicate than that and it was intentional too misfield This time playing the shot Atta Patu played in the last over. Again the result the same. Now that's a tremendous shot. 50 here for Mahila Jayavadana. Good use of his feet and hitting it inside out. So I think India have drifted a little bit with their attack today. That's for a desperate attempt out on the boundary. 
a lot of diving goes on these days. Uh, see them there trying to uh, get across to that one. Just got in fingertips to it. Once again, a very nice use of the feet by Marvin Akapatu, getting up to the pitch of it and smashing it um, into that extra cow boundary. And that beats the fourth, short third man, running away down to third, four more. Does that feel pretty quick? That uh, went flying down to third man for four. Tendulkar has not been able to keep the Sri Lankan batsmen quiet. They've been now... Uh, Picking up their boundaries together with the uh, singles, and there you are. That's a bit of leg spin from Tendulkar. Well, that's uh, well played too. That's going to be close. No, he'll cut it off. A lot of work being done down there on the boundary. Sachin uh, doing the fielding there, and that brings up the 150. Let's rejoin the action in the 33rd over. It's 160 for two, Sahir Khan to Jay Watana. In the air, over the top, four. Yes, yeah, just for a second, it looked as if that might be going uh, to mid on. Boy, doesn't that ball look tatters. Visit us as www.indianteam. Victory, yep. A bit of innovative uh, sign language there. Oh, that was delicately played by Maharaja Wadhana, showing that his innings is not all about power. Nicely put away. Using the pace of the ball and uh, realizing that there was no down, one down there at fine leg, getting it right on the spot. Over the top, that's a tremendous shot. One bounce and into the boundary for four. Just a little bit of room, opening the face of the bat a little bit, hitting straight through the ball. Mahela is getting that form of his back. Oh, the attempted back of the hand, and it's just been flipped away by Joe Wardner. The intensity has gone out of the Indians' play. They know they've got the final on Sunday. That's a gorgeous shot. Stand and deliver. Square drive. A beauty. In the air but through. Just stood up on it. That's when you are seeing the ball well and full of confidence. That wasn't a bad ball by any stretch of the imagination. Thick Manhattan, plenty of big overs there. Acceleration all the way through. Run rate is 5.3. But almost a third wicket. Ah, with Marvana Tapatu, you could see there took many steps. It was a long way out. That's a good shot though. Straight down the ground. as you like. A couple of skips down the track. And straight over the bowler's head. And that could be four again. It is Fielder in vain. Badani lucky not to hurt himself there. Dug the old knee into the ground. The acceleration coming from Joe Wardner. I'm sure the course is able to keep up with all this one scoring. Dave Watmore making notes on his card, but runs are coming in a flurry. Oh, and that's edged away for four. And what was a reasonably good over has turned into a good one for Sri Lanka. Of batting to come, quite a few shot makers there, and uh, not many overs to go. That's uh, that's a formula for getting stuck in, and uh, that's probably what they will do. This is uh, Zahir Khan, seven overs, no wicket for 26. He's bowled well so far. Well, that's a great shot through cover, right off the middle of the bat. Marvin Adapadu. He hasn't played a better shot than that today. Wonderful cover drive. 
Now this is magnificently played and the good thing about this shot from Adapadu is that it's a genuine cricketing shot. Gets into position early, gives himself room and just slams it past cover. Everything right about it. This has been a magnificent exhibition of batting. 212 this partnership worth. You don't see that too often in one day cricket. Well, that uh, equals the um, best partnership, the third best partnership for Sri Lanka in one day internationals, 213. Correction, that's the third wicket partnership. So that equals the, the best third wicket partnership for Sri Lanka, which uh, previously stood, or now currently stands, uh, with the partnership against uh, Pakistan in Lahore back in the season of uh, 97. So Surya and Aravinda de Silva. Well, that's it. That's the best third wicket partnership now. It's gone down to the boundary for four. So despite the fact that Sri Lanka got off to a bad start today, they really have rectified this situation. Yes, this time Jai Vardhan are getting into the act, giving himself room. And really, he was aiming to grasp this one pass cover, but he gets a thickish outside edge. Third man is a little too square. And all these are useful runs in this situation of the game. Sri Lanka eyeing a big, big score here. And uh, there's another one for four. That's uh, a nice little... Uh, no, it's not. It's off the pads. Sagarkar was looking to follow Mavanada Padu here. He sensed he might be giving himself some room. And this is frustrating for the fielding side. The ball just kissing the pad there, beating the keeper, beating fine leg. And runs coming thick and fast here for the Sri Lankans. This has been a great counter-attack. 25 for 2 when these two came to the crease. 250 for 2 now. some idea of how well these two have done the best wicket in all the best third wicket partnership in all one day cricket is between Rahul Dravid and Sachin Tendulkar that's the India, the India Kenya match in Bristol in um, May 99 they put on 237 so that's the number one partnership third wicket and these guys are getting pretty close to breaking that there's shots all around the ground for Jay Wagner could be out. There's a fieldsman back there. Yes, that's the end of the partnership. They won't break the record. Zahir Khan takes the catch at deep mid off. That is the end of a fabulous innings. Mahela Jaiwagana, who's had a bit of a tough time just recently, has completed his top score in one day, the national cricket. He really has done it in style. Rousing hand for a superb innings. Even Marvin Akapadu was clapping. He's a tremendous young player, a class operator. And he's brought all his skills into play today. 128 to 122, 251 for three. That's nice placement. This might be four. Yes, it is. Good placement and nice timing. Russell Arnold getting it away for four. Straight down the ground. Has he hit it well enough? Yes, he has. Well, that's a very, very good shot. If you, uh, you hit it really well, Men, men at mid off and mid on as for four you've done well yes I think the bowler will be disappointed because this is not all that bad a delivery you must give credit to the batsman here low full toss at times it's not easy to put it away especially when you have two men back in the deep you 
split the field here to perfection. In the air and down to the boundary for four again. They are cutting loose Sri Lanka. They are not going to finish here until the last ball is bowled. There's one to go in this over. The crowd, the Sri Lankan crowd here, having a lovely time at the moment. The Indians have gone a little quiet, but rest assured, they'll come alive if uh, Sachin and uh, Sorov get going. Over his bat now. Ajit Agoka on his way in. That's it, that's well played. Wonderful performance. That's his fifth one-day international century. He's second against India. He's first against Saja. His captain and his colleagues are on their feet. So is every Sri Lanka in the stadium. A well-deserved applause for another fine innings from Mabhanadu Padu. 289 for three. One over to go. Give it everything here. Marvin Otto Potter trying to have much strength left. He's 100. Final drawn 27. He's the, the one likely to really get it away. He's on strike now. Sahir Khan, the bowler. Oh, he's trying to fly that one away. It's a little bit too quick for him. One. Oh, and he's going to turn around. This could be out. Yes, it. Did it hit the stumps? Yes, he's out. That's the end of that. Well, in his enthusiasm, I think he thought that Adapada was coming. But that's uh, the end of a very unselfish innings by Russell Arnold. 27 of 20 balls, good effort. Yes, he's done the job for his side. Sri Ram was the man who was throwing the ball, and the throw was accurate. Hit the stumps direct. Arnold was backing up too far. He's played his part. 28 of 21, 290 for four. Well, he's got bat on ball. They'll be looking for the second one. Back comes Marvin Adepato. This could be run out. Oh, it's close. He wants a replay. I think it's pretty close. Yes, it wasn't a direct hit and... Uh, it will still be touch and go because the throw from Agarka in the deep is good. They were always coming back for the second because they knew this was the last ball of the innings. And he looks in trouble here now he's made his ground. In fact, might just be on the line the bat. We'll have to see when the bales come off. It's come out there and yet short of his ground. It's a good effort, actually. Just, uh, I think, probably just out. Just to keep an eye on the lights there, because uh, this could be the difference at the end of the day. Who knows? Then, let's have a look. The bail gone? Yes, it has. The bail's gone there, and so that's out. Right, so uh, the score remains on, uh, what does it go to now? 294. Yes, he got the red light. So 294 is what Sri Lanka have ended up with. That is the highest score made in this tournament so far. Anyhow, there is uh, the batting card. Adapato 102, Jai Wadhana 128, Arnold a quick fire 28. 294 for five. So India need 295 at 5.9 runs per over, a big ask, and much depends on Sachin Tendulkar. It's the first over, Saurav Ganguly facing Chamin the Vaz. He's gone here. The Vaz has struck. Ganguly was looking for the pole. And it's the second time in two matches against Sri Lanka. The boss has dismissed Ganguly off a short delivery. And I knew it was coming and they talked about it and everybody knows that uh, Sarav Ganguly isn't happy with the short pitch delivery. I think he sort of premeditated that was going to happen. Chaminda Vaas not uh, scared to bang it in and that's quite right too. He's looking to go after it, try and stamp his authority early on uh, Ganguly, but uh, really didn't get anywhere near it. It was on him a bit too quickly. That's quite a heavy bat. Just lobbed it to the man on the edge of the circle, neatly judged, and that's a very big breakthrough. Chaminda Vaas naturally delighted. Ganguly on his way for one. It's two for one. Goes up 
for that one. That's a spanking strike. First boundary for Tendulka. Zoiza, he's got the right idea, but he's bowling too wide. That one is really spanked away. Too much room. You can't bowl it outside off there. Look, look at that free swing of the arms, and that's flashed away. He's blazed at that one. Another boundary. That was fiercely struck on the up. He's backing his eye, Sachin. He's going to go for it. And this will set uh, some of the Jaya thinking. You can't use just pure pace. There's got to be a change of pace here. And he's just whacked that one on the up. And beautifully struck. The man's way back on the edge of the circle, but he can't lay a hand on this. That's good timing from Sri Ram. Very good timing. And Pete Zoy set to the boundary. That'll make the youngster feel better. Yes, that is well played. Just uh, using the angle, Vast just slanting it in towards leg stump. He's got inside it nicely and just used the wrist beautifully. He's bowled it about 80 miles an hour and he just flicked it away off the middle. Shot delivery and he's got him. The second time he's fallen for the pull shot. Sri Ram in a couple of days. He's disappointed, but the Sri Lankans are celebrating, and why not? Two wickets they've taken. And he must be absolutely distraught. That's the second time in two days that a uh, fast bowler has got him out. It's just compulsive. He's got uh, no option. He just can't help himself. As soon as he's it, he sees it in short, he likes to play the pull shot. That was too quick on Tim. That was a good change of pace by Chaminda Vas. Hit high on the bat. Just lobbed gently to Dilshan. Made no mistake. Sri Ram back for six. 24 for two. Chaminda Vas has done the damage here for Sri Lanka. Two wickets for him. And this should be a good contest. Vas to Tendulkar. Just stroking it on the offside and it's passed it off. The timing was good. It's another boundary here for Sachin Tendulkar. The timing was perfect. Just a little bit of width again. You've got to be so precise to Sachin Tendulkar. If it's slightly over pitched, whack, and if it's slightly short, that also goes. Just stood up on it and hit through the line. Man's right back on the circle, not able to stop it. Beautiful acceleration of the hands through the hitting area. Yes, that ball was traveling. Oh, that's well played. That's going to be four. Beautifully hit away. On the ground too, but short. Oh, inside edge, that's lucky. That's very close to the leg stump. Sachin walking down the pitch almost as if to say, I deserve a bit of luck. <laughs> well, everyone thinks it's quite funny. Sachin uh, never turned ahead. Just walked straight down the pitch to have a chat with his partner. along with this last I'm not convinced not convinced this is the way to go at all so there's the comparison India way ahead it's the uh, point that Michael Holding was making I mean uh, there's no real necessity for it Sachin Tendulkar is such a good player I just wonder what's going through his head for him to be going down this course 48 for 2 chances are there's a there's a reason for it think of any good one though. No, oh, that one's gone whistling away. Straight down the ground for four. Listen to the roar. That's an excellent shot from Robin Singh. Right on top of it, he's managed to get it away for 
four square of the wicket on the onside. He's playing pretty well now, starting to warm to the task. Can be a powerful hit of the ball, Robinson. I think that is why he has been elevated to this position. They know they need runs and read them quickly. But runs can be scored by playing reasonably normal shots. That was a, an orthodox shot. Ball short of a length, just pulling it in front of square. Immediately, Jayasuriya looks to make some changes to his field placing again. Deep backward square leg is going in. That means the final leg has to come up inside the circle. For both of them. Zoysa again. Oh, he's got that fine. I think that was probably a little bottom edge. It's gone to the boundary. There's no one going to cut one uh, that goes in that direction off, especially if there's bat on it. With a change in the field, the man that's fine is inside the circle and the man deep is very square. Not in total control of that Tendulkar, but got enough back onto it to take it very fine. And that's in the air, it'll be short. Oh, and just short. Just short. Good effort down there. Good attacking effort by the fieldsman. That's all you can ask for, Dab. Sorry, Tony. Good attacking uh, effort by Boss. Oh, yes, it was wonderful. If they had carried an extra um, 12 inches, I'm sure he would have got his hands well under that. But um, still, it goes down as a chance. And you've got to take these half chances. Have a look at it now. Oh. A shot. Lovely shot. Into the fence for four. I'll tell you what. Robin Singh has played some classic shots here today, and this is one of them. Even more reason why there should not be any risk taking at this stage. Robin Smith Singh can play shots like that, and we already know Sachin Tendulkar's ability. That's nicely played, 50 for Tendulkar. It's come in very quick time of just 41 balls. It says 48.50 in one-day internationals. Now that's it straight. It'll be Tarnan. That's a fine shot by Robin Singh. The ball spinning away. That's a cracking shot from Robin Singh. That was hit on the up. It wasn't a half volley, but he smashed it down the ground. Oh, that was a real beauty. Powerful he struck. It almost took Tendulkar's head off. And the non strikers just see the power behind that shot. And Tendulkar gets it but get away from it and the ball just races through. smashed it again this time wide of mid off in the air but again he finds the boundary consecutive boundaries here for robinson a similar ball slightly wider a similar sort of shot but again wider as well so robinson not to be outdone he too showing that he could be someone who could just go after the bowling indians intentions quite clear they're not wasting too much time in uh, playing down Murugan. They want to attack him. And one gets the feeling that there's been um, some sanity. A word from Tendulkar to Robin Singh. In the air and taken 200 wickets for Mutaya Murugan. That's an excellent performance. He's beaten Robin Singh in the flight. India have lost their third wicket. So Robin Singh goes. A little bit of indiscretion. Nice flight and delivery. Murugan, he doesn't bother. And Robin Singh drives straight to Pulchandana. 
and hopefully Chandra, he doesn't miss many. See the delight in Murugan's face. He's picked up his 200th one-day wicket. Robin Singh, he goes. And the third Indian wicket falls for 99. Calmly off the mark. Good over for the Sri Lankans. Three runs and a wicket. India 100 for three. to the score in the 28th over India need a further 166 of 134 balls Murli Dharan is about to bowl to Vinod Kamli got him cotton ball beautiful bowling lovely flight and dial a little bit of dip in that one too that's Muthaya Murli Dharan at his best it's the end of Kamli well you could see him trying to draw him into that and as he came down the wicket he was never going to get there and uh, of course the ball just dipped on him a little bit have a look at the facial expression there of Mathiah Murli Dharan Kambli never looked comfortable against Murli Dharan you can see Murli Dharan just the concentration nice to fight and delivery drawing Kambli into the drive not up to it and Murli Dharan he doesn't miss many of those particularly off his own bowling so the Sri Lankans have struck once again through Murli Dharan Kambli is gone and the six wickets fallen for 129. Yeah. There he goes Hello. again, just getting the way into the uh, middle. Right, right into the gap there, so um, that's the end of the other. That brings up the 150. Six wickets down. Pulled away nicely, worked for Zoy Sander deep, and a miss field. The pressure was put on him by the two batsmen running quickly. We saw him do this even in the last game Sri Lanka played. He just gets his eyes off at the last minute. First boundary in a very long time, and it came by a mistake by Zoyza. Just a bit too anxious to get the ball into his hands. Yes, he was grabbing for it in the end. That's picked away on the onside and into the gap. That's a fine shot from Vijay Dahiya. They'll need quite a 
few of these. Good shot. Big gap between mid-wicket and long on. And that's nicely struck on the offside. The timing is good too. Not to mention the placement. It was very expensive in his first spell, Upashanta. Seemed as if nothing has changed. First delivery beautifully spanked through the offside. That's turned away fine. That will reach the boundary. This time he stayed where he was there. And just used the bowler space. Good deflection. That's a fine shot. And excellent work in the deep from Mulligan. He had a lot of ground to cover. Very good in the field, Murali Thuran. He's very quick over the ground and has a very strong throw. That him just hearing around the boundary. So there it is, 42 overs have been bowled now and uh, just eight overs to go. That one played away on the onside for yet another single, so uh, they're running out of time now. 95 to win. And uh, the required run rate over 12. That's in the air and that is out as well. I don't think the reverse sweep is the answer when Mufai Murli Dillon's barring. He's already got two wickets when uh, that's been attempted against him. So the end of quite a useful contribution from B Badani actually. 42 of 56 balls, he kept the ones coming. And uh, he'd be a little bit disappointed that he wasn't able to see it all the way through. There was some desperation that was setting in as far as Badani was concerned and resorted to the river sweep. But Jaya Surya completes a very good catch. Badani's gone caught by Jaya Surya. And that's the seventh Indian wicket for 206. That's in the air. And this is going to be out unless there's a collision. He's got it. That's Kalu with Iron now running across from his position behind the stumps. And so Mufaya Murali Dillon now has six. No wonder he's smiling. Yes, yeah, and Joshi looking to try and hit Murali Dillon over the infield, not making much contact, spinning away from him and uh, making a bit of a hash of that and um, a simple catch for Kaluitana calls out in time and um, no doubt Mutai Murlan is um, delighted Sunil Joshi he's out and uh, that's the 8th Indian wicket down for 211 so the interest would be as to whether Murli could pick up uh, another wicket or two in the next three balls Ajaman, um, just a quick one. Uh, I know it's quite difficult for you. Perhaps you're not even allowed to answer these questions to do with coaching. But I, I did read the other day where you were quoted as saying that you didn't see any reason why you should be playing second fiddle to anyone. By the way, before you answer that, oh, this is in the air. It's going to be caught. Oh, we'll have to come back to that question in a moment. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I agreed with you. But uh, that's been hit down the ground. It's been caught out. And, um, well, he's now got seven wickets. These figures at the moment are the best figures ever in the history of One Day Internationals here in Saja. And there have been more One Day Internationals played here than anywhere else. So it's a great performance. It is a great performance by Murli Dharan. Pultos and uh, down to third man for four. That was, uh, I think, a genuine edge. Just a little bit quicker that time. It was on to him before he really realised, but uh, it's gone deflecting away to the boundary for four. Another one, Zoysa, who's um, added a slightly different dimension to this uh, Sri Lankan attack. He's obviously quite fast. He's a left arm bowler and he gets some bounce as well. He's a very tall man. Sanat Jaya that was a very quick delivery, that was his fast 
the ball at the end of the match. Sri Lanka have won here in Saja in this uh, preliminary match to the final. They've won in fine style. They really have um, given the Indians a hiding. The big question is, can they repeat it on Sunday when they come round to playing the big one, the final, when it really matters? India started off well with um, Tendulkar chasing the runs. They lost Ganguly early, but um, once uh, the partnership between uh, Tendulkar and Robin Singh faded away, um, the rest really um, didn't uh, come up with anything substantial and India fell behind um, on the scoring rate and it fell at regular intervals. The Sri Lankans, all the time there, they kept on coming in on the Indians and uh, once Mutha Murugan um, entered, the Indians were all at sea and those figures, 7 for 30, tells the story. 294 for 5, India 226, Sri Lanka 1 by 68. After the game, Michael Holding spoke to the man of the match and the winning captain. I'd like to invite now the winning captain today, Sanat Jayasuriya. <laughs> Sanat, congratulations, another big win. Yeah, uh, thanks Michael. I thought uh, the um, Mahila and uh, Marvin put us in a very good position today because we had a 240 partnership. I think uh, we must thank Mahila and uh, Marvin for brilliant performance today. Uh, we got a 296 and after that Murli ball, one of the best bowling performance today. 294 runs, you must have been quite confident after getting that many. It is, yes, because uh, it's a big score, but uh, when Sachin was there, uh, it was going either way because he was batting, he was batting so, uh, well today. But uh, I think the bowlers ball really well and spinners came and uh, do, do the, the best because uh, Murli ball superbly today. With all the spinners in your team and you being able to use them, I'm sure you must have been quite happy that there wasn't a lot of dew around this evening. Yeah, uh, we were expecting a lot of dew, but it was not there today. Uh, we were managed to bowl all the spinners. We, we, we tried out Mahila and myself and Russell, and we bowled all, all four spinners today. And Mutaya bowled beautifully. He is always a match winning bowler for us. He's, today he got best figures for Sri, world cricket. I think we must. Uh, he always bowled for Sri Lanka cricket. One of the best bowlers we have in, Sri, in the world today. Certainly is, but you have got to know come back on Sunday and do it all over again. You know, we always try to play uh, positive cricket and uh, good cricket and we have been playing and I hope uh, we will, our boys will continue the good form. Okay, Salat, good luck on Sunday. Thank you, man. Salat Jaya ladies and gentlemen, the winning captain today. We've got a couple of presentations to some gentlemen who did exceptionally well today. First of all, we've got the kit play sixes. Salat Jaya Surya, the winner of that again, he gets a thousand dollars US and the presentation to be made by Mr. Mohammed Reda Abbas. And of course, the man of the match, none other than Mutaya Muralitharan, with excellent figures of 7 for 30, the best figures in one day international cricket ever. Presented by Mr. Mohammed Hanif, he gets his trophy and a check for a thousand US dollars as well. Well, bold Murali, I suppose you must have enjoyed that. Yeah, I enjoyed it really because uh, Myla and uh, Marwan played really brilliant inning. We got 290 is a big score. When you have big scores, uh, you can defend well. You weren't afraid to give the ball a bit of air with 294 on the scoreboard. Yeah, you can give a little bit of air because uh, then only you can get a little bit of wickets. So I thought uh, today I did really well. And of course, Sachin was the big wicket that you had to get. Yeah, he's a, such a dangerous batsman. So I thought if we got uh, Salah Ganguly and Sachin, uh, we have the game in our hand. Okay, Mutaya, good luck. But you have got to do it again on Sunday.